two and a half furlongs left, and Frascati, the top weight, strikes the front, but this is not grow unless the picket coming up on the wide outside, the angle is deceptive, he's not quite in front yet, but he is almost now, and it's not grow now, taking it up, with Minio coming fast, to take second off Frascati, at the distance now, and it's not grow the odds on favourite, the course and distance winner going on now, with Lester Pickett, about a length and a half in front of Minio in second, Frascati is still in third, and these have gone clear of the pace making mice, racing up to the line, not grow is going to win the Yorkshire Cup, and that's the line, not grow wins it. Rooney looking really well at the moment, although he's still about five legs off the leader, who continues to be Mr. Big Boar. Mr. Big Boar on the fence leads. Sea Anchor in second place, then Dakota, and still Bruni coming with this relentless run. It's as sweet as silk, Bruni. He must win it, surely. Lester's going so easily. Meantime, Greville Stark, he's really busy on Mr. Big Boar. And now Bruni surges up on the outside. Oh, what a horse this is. Coming up towards the line. Bruni wins it a shade cleverly, but very easy. Cut the line. Bruni the winner to get a run now getting into top gear just over three and a half furlongs to go capstan though still in the lead from little wolf then central line being chased along by philip Ward. and here on the outside comes ardross quickening the pace up on the outside two and a half furlongs to go ardross in the lead but little wolf is with him ardross little wolf and capstan Ardross in the lead, Capstan, Little Wolf, these three are beginning to draw away from central line. Inside the final quarter mile, Ardross having to be ridden for all his worth, in fact. Furlong and a half to go, Ardross just being uh, not ridden for all his worth, kept up to his work, I should say. Capstan is in second place on the rails, coming inside the final furlong, and here is Ardross coming home. Ardross by a length, length and a half, Little Wolf though staying on, but coming inside the final half furlong. Ardross going to win it quite handsomely at the line. Ardross is the winner, a photograph of second place between Capstan and Little Wolf. Capstan rallying inside the final furlong, and these three were so very clear of the others. Halin, uh, Salora Lady, and Central Line. And so the result of this, the Yorkshire Cup, is a win for number one, Ardras, owned by... Right away, and Lake Erie goes on, uh, Waspy next to the rails, these are being tracked at a length by Moon Madness, and Paladary now eases into second place as Water Swinburne goes on on Lake Erie. They've got just over a furlong to go, and it's Lake Erie with Moon Madness challenging on the stand side. Lake Erie in the orange, Moon Madness in the pale blue, and Moon Madness finds another gear. Paladary looks across, and he's got the race, he's grabbed the crowd here, you'll pick up. And it's Moon Madness who goes on by two legs. Lake Erie in second place, and Moon Madness makes it look very easy. At the line, Moon Madness, very impressive indeed. Lake Erie in second, a photo third, dark. Come on now, Waspy, too clear of overdrive back in five, a break of six to Spruce Baby and a big, big gap to Polymus and Actinium. The blue colours in behind them comes Rock Hopper. He'll have to come with a run next to the rails. Two and a half to go. Sapiens, the yellow jacket, Luca Riverdi. Snurge on the outside, putting in a determined run. Rock Hopper's back in four and getting closer, and he has finishing pace. And they with a furlong and a half to go. It's Sapiens in the lead, but Rock Hopper's after him. Here comes Rock Hopper, lengthening his stride, coming to join Sapiens. They're inside the final furlong, and Rock Hopper's going on. Sapiens battles back, but doesn't have the answer to Rock Hopper. Rock Hopper by a neck, by a half. Rock Hopper's going to take it. Rock Hopper comfortably in the end from Sapiens, third, third. Luca Riverdi, four, and then behind that one, further flight. A big break to Jaffa Lion, six back to Mountain Kingdom and a long, long way. Ball Gates certainly not out of it. All to play for, two and a half to go. Golden Ball, Party and Springs. Moonax on the right, Shambo's coming into the contention. Here goes Ball Gate the inside, one and a half to go. And it's Moonax in the blue colour shaking up the inside of Party and Springs. Two back to Shambo, double trigger is beaten. And Moonax stretching as they come past the furlong pole. Moonax goes clear by two to Party and Springs in Shambo. Class will tell. And it's Moonax clear by three uh, to Party and Springs and Shambo. And finishing fast is double trigger. But at the line, Moonax is the winner. Party and Springs in second, Shambo on the inside of double trigger at third and fourth. And the battalions play, and it's classic cliche. Strategic choice on the outside, they power clear. Off grey shot, they come down to the final quarter mile. And it's strategic choice on the outside of classic cliche, who's a real terrier and a battler. And it's classic cliche, who's coming back to take strategic choice. They come down towards the final furlong. Yellow strategic choice, blue classic cliche, and classic cliche getting the upper hand inside the final furlong. And it's classic cliche going on. Strategic choice looking one pace. Classic 
cliche strategic choice is held up towards the line and classic cliche comes to take it strategic choice just the one phase second but what a phase quarter of honor is third great shot four and Asterita had never passed anything at all inside there followed then by key to my heart whitewater affair Celeric is on the inside of willow wander in last position straightening up for home now they've got three and a half furlongs left to travel sacrament the first to go for home ranges up grabs a lead from classic cliche who gave in without a yelp on the outside here's on the here we come uh, we see key to my heart and sam run moving up followed then by whitewater affair and mons is behind them but key to my heart on the near side gets his neck in front of sam run mons getting into the clear on the far side whitewater affair is behind them from cutter celeric starting a run from well back and they're followed by sacrament willow wonder they race inside the final furlong though key to my heart being tackled by mons on the far side here's celeric seeing daylight celeric ranges up now to mons whitewater affair is flying but celeric in front from mons and whitewater affair celeric on the near side but oh it's tight celeric and mons a photo in third place in his uh, uh, whitewater affair and uh, just behind them satcho in the lead to the yellow colors of strategic choice and then a busy flight gets going persian punch next to the rails celeric the black cap at the back of the pack and has got six lengths uh, to make up as they come down past the two and satcho yellow colors the outside of strategic choice he was second in the race a couple of years ago he's battling with satcho meanwhile only half a length behind his busy flight with a run of Persian punch he's trying to raise his game too his strategic choice into the lead here on the outside comes busy flight and busy flight has timed the challenge well and busy flight comes on to win busy flight strategic choice Persian punch rallies for third satcho in four and they're a long way clear comes with a strong looking challenge largesse up the far rail then rainbow ways but cape tara has vaulted into the lead and has left them for dead cartan sin on rainbow ways then largesse shirley shaw on the outside celeric struggling to make any sort of impression and heading down now to the final furlong it's cape tara by four lengths to rainbow ways Shirley's charm running a good race but it's europe champion sayer cape tara coming back to york with a win here and royal ascot next stop again cape tara a clear-cut winner in the yorkshire cup second then rainbow ways Shirley's charm third cartan they're finishing in